This is the entire frame with everything on it, all the props and everything. 340 grams. Give or take a little bit. That's actually pretty nice. I have the battery strap on and everything. Uh, everything is included here. Here's my TCR220. 412 grams. There's a quite big difference. It has almost the same parts. Same parts as the uh, real ACC frame. Oh, happy with that. TCR has been a great frame, but I have high hopes for this one as well. Last part of the build video. I will now update the ESCs and uh, set up the flight controller with the newest beta flight 3.0. First thing you want to do is remove all the props because otherwise set up a bit dangerous. You have to have the battery connected when you update the ESC software. And I believe Betaflight has the stick arm enabled by default. So you, uh, you must be careful when you do this. Okay, then we connect the USB. I have mounted, mounted on the left side of the frame. Then you can see the lights. Lights come up on the flight controller. Open up the beta flight config and press connect once, then disconnect it. I'm not sure if it's needed, but I've been doing it like that, so. Then choose your FC part. The Banggood one is a copy of the SP Racing F3 board. And choose the newest Betaflight 3.0. It has been just released a few days ago. And check this box, manual bout rate, load the firmware from the internet, yep, and then click flash. Okay, successful. And remember, don't use any USB hubs or like uh, the front panel of your computer. It does, sometimes it doesn't work. You'll, you'll have some issues with that. Now I'll click connect. Okay, it's time to set up the flight controller settings. I'm using the ACC to see the, uh, which way the copter is turning when I tilt it over in my hand. Now it's, it isn't working as intended. So I'll go to the config. Actually you can enable the expert mode. See all the options. I'm using multi-shot and I play 10. Over the minimum throttle to 1030. And this, this is the crucial part. I'll turn the part sensors to match my setup. Now I'll ena enable the SPAS from here. 
disable the VPAT. I didn't connect it. I haven't been using it. Change it to 4. I'll change the uh, loop time to 4 kilohertz. I'm gonna disable black box for now and click save. I'll check the okay. Now the nose is going up and down and uh, left and right. Now it's working fine. Now I can disable the ACC. I'm not using level mode at all, so I haven't even tried it. Save and repeat again. Then I'll enable the SBUS connector here on the third input. input and, uh, Yep. Failsafe is set to drop. I think it's fine. Okay, now I went to the bit settings. I will be using the stock settings for today. And the uh, I'll adjust the RC rate to 55, 0.55. I've been using it like that, and uh, now I'll adjust the super rate to get the uh, maximum roll speed I want and, and pitch speed. 1000 is pretty fast, so uh, be careful with this. Now you can see that the curve. Is quite steep after the mid, but I'm not using any expo, so I, I've been using it like this. I think it's it's better this way. Maybe they should totally like uh, remove the RC expo from the config. I don't know. This is an important feature. You have to enable the switch arm so you don't accidentally arm the copter. I'm using the AUX4 Just check the rest of them You can go to the CLI and check, check the CPU usage its status mm, It's up to 17% mm, I hope it's fine Fine like that Yep I think we're all done here. Welcome to OpenCX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Acro mode. Throttle disabled. Connect the battery. I downloaded the newest BL Heli suite. And I have this Betaflight config in the background. It's not connected. Then choose the right port and press connect. Here you can see multiple ESCs and press check. One, two, three, four came up and the uh, firmware numbers versions. Okay. Now let's click flash. Okay. I suppose this is fine. Yeah. Now just wait for the ESCs to flash. Now I have the power on my quadcopter. So the battery is connected and removed all the props. ESC one. Yeah. I'm not sure what this what this means, but yeah. Then flash the second one. You have to do, do this four times. Okay. 
just keep clicking. We'll adjust the settings later on and calibrate the ESCs in the beta flight config. Okay, now you can see all the ESCs have been updated. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Temperature protection. Oh, this is some new, new feature, I suppose. I haven't been changing the DMAX settings or, or, or the startup powers. I haven't had any issues, so uh, I've been using the defaults. I am going to change the motor timing to medium high. Now I click right setup, and it writes the this setting change to all of the ESCs. Break on stop is off. Okay, I'll change the this setting. I'm not sure if it affects anything. Probably won't. But you could change it here if you wanted to. If you can't calibrate them. B constraint is going to be a maximum. 2.55 and the delay 2 minutes, so if I lose my quad capture I can find it. I don't have any beeper besides this ESC beacon. Now I'll write the setup. Oh, right, okay. I'll disconnect and I can hear my ESC's beep. Oh, this is the usual bug with the this program. Don't know why they don't fix this. Checking the motor directions like this. You can change them in the ESC software. I'm putting a small piece of black masking tape. Masking tape on the motors. <clears throat> One is going in the wrong way. Good one is going in the one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, number two is wrong, and three is wrong. <laughs> you can really hear the throttle disabled. These ESCs are so super powerful. <laughs> You don't want to put your hand into the props. We have to uh, reverse motors number two and three. I will check this and right setup. Connect a beta flight config and check out the receiver. Now I have my Taranis powered on. I want to check the yaw. It's going from 1000 to 2000. And same with the throttle. And uh, actually, the roll isn't isn't going to 1000. The pitch is. So uh, I'll just adjust it from my. Taran is set up. It's on the outputs. 
page. Just put it on the minimum and just with the plus and minus. I want it to go exactly to 1000 and 2000. And you can see the movements on the preview window. For some reason it's drifting. You gonna fly pretty good. Throttle disabled. Throttle active. Throttle yep. disabled. Everything is working. Let's disconnect then. I think we're ready to fly. And go for the test flight. <laughs> 